So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now this video was recorded during the early access for Way of the Hunter as THQ Nordic and Nine Rocks Games were kind enough to let me take part in the early access so once again a huge thank you for that. But in this video I'm going to be going over the different difficulty settings and other various settings that you can apply to change your experience in Way of the Hunter. So here you can see you can scroll all the way over to the right to Hunter Sense and as you can see we have a whole load of different options that we can turn on or off. So starting under General we have Binocular Identification, then we have Interactions Highlighting, both of those can be turned on or off. Then we have Extra Information in Scope, Bullet Impact Position, Bullet Impact Distance and Bullet Impact Energy. All three of those can be turned on or off depending on what you'd like. Then we have Animal Signs Identification Display, Droppings Identification. Then we have Blood Prints Identification. Then we have Footprint Identification and then scrolling down a bit more, Sound Cues Identification and Deceased Animal Position. Now all of these can just be switched on or off depending on what you would prefer and I thought this was really nice to see that there is just so many options even within this one thing within the hunter sense that you can actually turn on or off if you know depending on what you prefer. If you'd like that little bit of extra help it's there but if you don't want that and you want to go as natural and as realistic as possible then you can just switch whatever off that you want because you may want one thing on and something else off so yeah really really nice but beyond that when you go to select territory which is basically the different maps you'll see we have difficulty settings so we have difficulty adventurer is the one i have been playing on throughout the early access but you can see we even have one that's below that in terms of difficulty settings so we have explorer Animal senses low. For inexperienced players, the challenge of the game will be much lower. So this is a good setting for someone who really has no idea about hunting or hunting games and just needs to get a feel for what, what the game is like. And maybe someone, like I said, that just really isn't used to this kind of game, that's a really good option. Then we have Adventurer, which as I said is the one that I've been playing on during Early Access mostly, which animal senses are medium. The game provides a good balance between gameplay and real hunting experience. This is kind of like an in-between setting and it's been a really good one to play on during the Early Access because it means I can show off a lot of the features like the hunter sense and stuff like that, but at the same time it's not extremely easy so it does give an idea of the challenge of the game. Then we have the hunter setting, animal senses high, animals are skittish and you must apply hunting knowledge and tactics. So this is for someone with a bit more probably real life experience, knows a little bit more about hunting and how animals behave because that kind of experience will actually benefit you in this game. So again just increasing it a little bit there. And then finally the most difficult setting is ranger. Animal senses high, scope shooting information, binocular identification, interactions highlighting, animal signs identification, all that's turned off. This difficulty provides the most realistic hunting experience. All the extra info provided will be hidden. Now I have actually done some gameplay in the ranger setting and it is very very much close to real life. There's no telling you what the blood uh, what the blood is actually like it doesn't tell you if it's got bubbles in it you have to go and look at the blood and look at it to see if it's got bubbles in it you have to determine for yourself what kind of wound that was and whether it was a good good shot or not there's not going to be any help at all and it was actually really really cool and of course you can't use hunter sense in that mode at all so you have to judge animals by eye now this was in the adventurer mode just to give you an idea so you can see here i'm using the hunter sense and it's giving me a load of information about this black bear up in the top right of the screen you can see the animal species the trophy rating all those kind of things are being displayed on screen to give you a little bit of a helping hand now even further than this when you actually go to scope in if you use the hunter sense and i only got it to uh, to show for a second here but when I go a little bit further forward, I will scope in again. And if you go into the hunter sense and then point at your target, it will give you a little red dot 
to show you i think it's supposed to be where exactly you should aim and it sort of gives you an idea of like bullet drop and stuff here you can see it again with a doe that i actually um slowed this clip down just so you could see it a little bit more clearly that red dot and it gives you up in the top right corner shot analysis with distance and energy so it gives you a lot of helpful hints and things to help you know what you're doing and then in terms of the blood trailing in the adventurer mode you can see blood trail analysis gives you a load of information about how long it's going to take that animal to expire what kind of blood that was um, you know whether it had any impurities like air bubbles etc so basically it just gives you a lot of help in terms of what you're looking at and it could be really useful for like i said a, a newer player someone who doesn't necessarily know what to look for those are really helpful options and even if you are more of an experienced player or even a more experienced real life hunter you may want to have some of those options turned on simply to give you a good balance between gameplay and real life hunting the ranger mode which is the mode we are in right now while i'm hunting some wild boar for the end of this video is really hardcore and i would only really recommend this mode if you are very experienced with uh, you know real life hunting knowledge effectively you really want to know what you're doing before you go into this mode now you'll see that all of the sort of extra help in this mode is just completely gone. So we have a group of wild boar here and I can't use the hunter sense. The hunter sense is completely disabled. You cannot use it at all. And I'm going to shoot one of these wild boar here. So just lining up my shot there and you can see taking a shot. Interesting shot reaction from him there. He kind of froze and then about a second later then kicked to run. So that was interesting to see another different shot reaction, which I will have done another video talking about that. But back to what we're talking about here, as you can see, it went over to the blood. I can't, um, I can't analyze it at all. I have to just judge it by eye. So I know that from you know playing in the other modes, I know that that's a good amount of blood, probably a medium bleed rate. And now I can track the blood just based off of which direction it's going and you kind of do need to use your instincts over which way that animal's going to have run you need to pay attention and then you kind of need to think okay which way is it likely to have gone and then try and track it down and i could see that that blood did have bubbles in it i knew it was a good hit and yeah sure enough not far away i did end up finding the boar so that was a really really fun experience and that was one of my first kills in the ranger mode and i really really like the ranger mode i think it's a lot of fun but like i said unless you're very experienced that's going to be a, a really difficult mode now you can see the difficulty rating will be displayed on the overview where you take a look at the animal you'll have the hunt rating the animal star rating and then you will have the difficulty mode displayed in the middle so you can actually show someone so if you got something really cool in the ranger mode then you can actually show that as well which i think is really nice and of course you still have all of the info in the shot shot screen here um, with the bullet cam and everything so you can still look to see how good your shots were and all of the info is still going to be in the harvest screen like it is here for this ball so yeah really fun but there is different modes of difficulty and like i said it probably would make sense for a lot of people to just start off probably in the adventurer mode gives you a good idea of the game you can learn it a little bit and then if you want to increase the difficulty from there of course that's you're completely free to do that and you know there's going to be people that go straight into the hardcore mode and i think that's going to be really really cool to see um, but like I said, throughout my early access, I have been playing mainly on the adventurer mode just to give like an overall idea of the game and the gameplay and what it's like because a lot of people I think will probably not go for the hardcore mode. So I was trying to give like a balance between everything. So yeah, just wanted to make this video and explain that as well because of course when you're watching my uh, the rest of my early access videos and I mentioned the difficulty setting, I may say, okay, this was on a slightly lower difficulty, but but it's still something cool as i mentioned during my uh, five star whitetail hunt i did mention that it was still on the adventurer mode but it was still a really cool trophy so i figured this would be a useful video to to make and explain and as well to give you guys an idea of just how customizable this game is in terms of your gameplay
but that is going to be it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching i hope this will have been useful and informative for you guys and yeah just thank you so much for all of your support as always and i will see you guys in the next video thank you